Hey folks, my name is Matt Savers with uh, Mirabeni Citizens Syncom. Today I'll be presenting the uh, Miano ANX 42SYY. It's a twin turret lathe, twin spindle, X, Y, and Z upper and lower turrets, 12 station turrets, all of which can be live. Um, this is a bit of a departure from the rest of our Miano products as it's built with uh, roller linear ways as opposed to box ways. We did this to incorporate our LFB technology or oscillation turning or however you want to call it. So in order to break a chip, I have a little demonstration here. You ready? So the first 300 thousands of this cut is done without oscillation to force a long stringy chip off the back of the bar. <clears throat> It's going to disengage the cut, it's going to turn on LFE technology, and it's going to vibrate every revolution one and a half times. And you'll see the, the chip going from a long stringer to about a quarter inch long chip. After, the net, after this 300 thousandths, it's going to disengage again, and it's going to vibrate two and a half times per revolution. And it's going to take that quarter inch chip and drop it down to about an eighth an inch chip. Almost there? All right. So this is a 42 millimeter machine, inch and five eighths capacity, 6,000 RPM main and sub spindle RPMs, 6,000 RPM rotary RPM for any of the live tooling. Uh, it's got a four and a half inch travel in both directions on the sub spindle, so it can reach either turret very easily. And I'm going to switch programs right quick so you can see some more cutting action. So. Our technology allows for uh, superimposition of the subspindle onto either turret. Right now we're doing it in uh, G540 where the subspindle is superimposed onto the lower turret. Faces the sub while it's roughing on the main. So now the lower turret waits for the main to face, but the subspindle can continue on in superposition until the face clears. And after the operation is done, both the lower turret and the subspindle are free to move on to the next operation while the upper turret continues. So we have engraving on the subspindle while we finish the finish operation on the upper turret. And a large grooving, wide, large inch wide groove is done on the upper turret, feeding it sixth out per rev. Also, this machine is built with direct drive motors as opposed to belt driven. And in doing so, um, index time and spindle XL and D cell are decreased. So you gain cycle time at that as well. So the subspindle engraving operation is completed. And uh, the lower turret waits for the main and indexes and prepositions for the last operation to complete. Right now we have a, a synchronization operation where the upper turret is doing everything the lower turret is doing. So it's only programmed from one path and the upper turret just follows everything the lower is doing. It's X1, X2, Z1, Z2 synchronization. Same thing for this pinch milling operation. <clears throat> We're able to program from just the lower path. X, Y, and Z is followed. The upper turret follows everything the lower turret does. It's a Fanuc 31i control with a Syncom human machine interface. So it's pretty much a Fanuc control but it's more built to represent what we have in our, our Mitsubishi type controls, so Syncom users are more familiar with it. And it makes the operation a little bit easier. 
Again, it's chamfering program from the lower turret. Upper turret follows everything that the uh, lower turret does. Subspinal approaches, does a bar pull, and cuts off. This is an ISGAR high feed cutoff holder. We're feeding at 6,000 per rev. It's a big bulky holder, a lot of blade beneath it. Thanks for your attention, everybody. Enjoy the show. <laughs>